Hey guys, welcome back to History with Mrs. Lee. Today our topic is the Boston Massacre of 1770. The Boston Massacre is going to be considered a cause of the American Revolution. Now before we get started, we need to review two major terms that we discussed in regards to groups in the 13 colonies. The first group are people called loyalists. And a loyalist is somebody who loves England and they want to remain loyal to England. They don't want to part ways, they support the king and they support the parliament. The other group is the people that are called the patriots. And patriots do not love England. They do not support the king, they do not support parliament and they would prefer their independence and they would like to break away. Now we know that there were several laws that were passed in the 13 colonies that many patriots, many colonists are very upset about. Another thing that we know is that many soldiers were sent over from England to kind of babysit the colonists. They needed houses to stay in and so that was the quartering act. But then these guys also needed a side job because they didn't make much money. So many soldiers ended up taking the jobs that other Bostonians had. And so lots of people are feeling resentful of the British soldiers. So one December, I'm sorry, not December, in March, one March evening, March 5th, 1770, some colonists who are very angry about losing their jobs, they come across some British soldiers who are standing guard outside of one of the buildings in Boston. Okay? And so these patriots who are represented in the picture on this left-hand side here, they start throwing snowballs at the British soldiers. They threw sticks, they threw stones, they threw chunks of ice, they threw clubs at the British soldiers. The British soldiers then decided to fire upon the crowd. They felt that they were showing self-defense and so they fire upon the crowd and kill five American colonists. The first American colonist who was killed was Crispus Attucks. Okay. Now, after this event, John Adams is asked to represent the British soldiers in court. And even though he is a patriot, and even though he does not always agree with Parliament and the King, he feels it is best to represent these men by showing the evidence and what actually happened. So the soldiers are actually found not guilty. They're found innocent of their crime because they were showing self-defense. Now there's another man though who is a patriot who feels like everybody needs to know a different side of this story and that is Paul Revere. Paul Revere, who you guys know for the famous Midnight Ride, was also a silversmith and so he's kind of like an artist and he decides to create this picture portraying the Boston Massacre. However, he makes the title called The Bloody Massacre. In his picture, he shows the Patriots unarmed. They don't have any snowballs in their hands. They don't have any weapons, no sticks, no stones, no clubs, none of that. And he shows them being fired upon by the British soldiers. And it looks like he has this guy saying, shoot, shoot, fire upon them. He does this to convince people to become Patriots. Okay? We talked in class about how this little building over here is called Butcher's Hall. Maybe he did that to show that he thinks that these British soldiers are butchers upon the American colonists. And look, even the little puppy dog, who's going to fire into a crowd when there's a sweet little innocent puppy dog? How dare those British soldiers? So Paul Revere creates this bloody massacre picture, and it is going to be used as propaganda. We said that propaganda is trying to convince people to join your side or convince people to do something. This picture is going to be put on display throughout newspapers around the 13 colonies and it's going to be used to convince people to become patriots. Alright, so you guys know that I'm trying to become a YouTuber for class and so what I want you to do is like this video, but I'm going to do a giveaway and I think that giveaway is going to include replacing your lowest daily grade with a free 100 and it's also going to involve getting to pick out your favorite full-size candy bar and a soda. Miss Lee will purchase it and bring it to you in class. Now in order to enter this giveaway, I need for you to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bells. Once I've hit 50 
subscribers. I will choose from the people who have liked or subscribed to my channel and then I will choose somebody from that list at random and they will win the giveaway this time. And we'll do another giveaway later. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you have a great weekend.